In last week's episode, we enjoyed one of the rare anchorages at the canals. We left a gorgeous morning and head to the beautiful city of Maastricht where we spent a couple of days. In this episode, we get a mixed taste of Belgium. We drop our boat 73 meters and the dream of Mediterranean is officially over for us. We left Holland for Belgium and it occurs to us how different those three countries we canal cruised so far is. Buildings and architecture differ so much so fast. And we're sorry to say, but let's be honest, we didn't find Belgium very pretty so far. Until we reached the beautiful town we. So let's fast forward there. With its beautiful hilly landscape, the citadel overlooking the river, and the stone bridge, this was something else. This is the first part of Belgium that seems a little bit spectacular or nice. It's been mainly industries this far, so we're gonna try to find a nice place close to here. But unfortunately, we had not much more than docked at the yacht club where we got the latest news for the French water levels. It's a beautiful place, it's a very beautiful yacht harbour and we got a good place for Tilda and it's like a nice restaurant. But they also came with a very unnice information for us because the French VNF has decided to close another channel to the Mediterranean. And that's pretty much our last hope, so Champagne et Bourgogne is going to be closed within a week and we won't make it there in a week. So um, the dream of Mediterranean is officially over for us, sadly. I'm a little bit sad, yeah. Already some weeks ago we learned that our original plan was now impossible, but we had looked at options. This news, however, meant that also our plan B and C was now doomed. And for a boat with our draft, a plan D that we now had to come up with could not lead us to Mediterranean this year. It meant this journey straight for Europe was no longer going to happen. We thought a bit about it, and in the end of the day we had decided to anyway continue towards Paris. Next morning the energy wasn't the highest, but it was still gorgeous views for a while. The entire prior part of the canals 
had been very flat and we wonder if it would be more of this hilly landscape as we were going. And we had something to look forward to. New crew on the boat. So from here we went to Namur to pick up Mats and Karin. They couldn't have gotten a more lovely morning to start. And as the plans from here no longer would follow our original route, we turned to Sambre instead of continuing on bus. Good morning! We have just today left Maas or Moes here in Belgium and turned into Sambre River. Sambre? Sambre? Sambre River? It's Sunday today so we were not sure if the locks would be open but we attached outside of the first lock and at 9 o'clock they let the water out and let us in so we are pretty sure now we could do some more locks today. Mats immediately took the crew role seriously and was working out his technique in the locks. We were approaching Charleroi from where we only had had bad reviews, so we enjoyed the still nice part. Not sure whether we or they were the audience, but it's so nice to see the riversides being used so much and to have friendly people waving. And then we could see it, the lift that would drop us 73 meters down. A lift is very different from a lock. It's not a basin that fills or empty water. You are actually floating up in the air. It's insane we just went from up there. We tied up for the night just outside of Mons, and it occurred to us Belgium seemed to be the contrast of really ugly and really pretty. And Mons was on the pretty list.
I want to deeply thank my Patreons for supporting the making of these episodes. And if you want to contribute, you can also become a Patreon or buy me a coffee at the links below. If you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you appreciated this episode, please give it a big thumbs up.